Journalist Nabila Ramdani has visited Libya and in the past has interviewed both Colonel Gaddafi and his son Saif al-Islam most recently in July. What does she make of today's speech? Well, I think Colonel Gaddafi is being very clever by capitalizing on, in my opinion, what is a mistake made by the uh, UN Security Council considering a military intervention in the country. In my opinion, this would be very unwise because the uh, scenario is highly unlikely for a start because China, uh, Russia and indeed France, three of the five permanent members of the UN Security Council are against such a move. David Cameron said yesterday that it would be unworkable for uh, logistical and political reasons. And I would want to add that it would be counterproductive as uh, the Libyan population is very suspicious of Western interference and of uh, US and UK interference, in particular, as they do not want Libya to become another Iraq or indeed Afghanistan. But inside Libya, how is what he's saying playing beyond his direct supporters who we, we saw on television screens? You know, he was talking to those people. How, how's that going to, how's what he's saying going to play beyond that to, say, people in Benghazi? Well, precisely because the Libyan population as a whole gradually now and increasingly is viewing any military interference and especially a, a, the possibility of a U.S. military interference as a yet another U.S. intervention in a Muslim country. Let's not forget that American warplanes were bombing the country as recently as the 1980s, and the Libyan population hasn't forgotten that. And it, it was Benghazi, of course. He, he did, though, look incredibly in command today. Whatever you say about what was coming out of his mouth, he did look like he was a man in command. I think he's very much enjoying uh, the current situation. He's uh, playing uh, a very clever game with the media. His, uh, his appearances are, are more and more numerous now on television. And he is very comfortable in the role of the man who is once again defying the West. And what do you make of what we're seeing elsewhere in terms of the fighting and him denying that all of this is, is taking place? Well, of course, that was his strategy from the very beginning, and that was uh, Saif al-Islam's, uh, his uh, second son's strategy as well. They've made numerous uh, appearances in the media to deny categorically any violence uh, happening in the country. That doesn't mean it's not happening, but he's also very uh, confident about his position. And we are now seeing pro Qaddafi, more and more uh, pro Qaddafi demonstrations, and he's indeed gradually uh, regaining control control over the lost territories and that is the case in the northeast for example what's he like you've interviewed him what's he like one to one well interestingly he's uh, he's very approachable he's uh, straightforward and he he's happy to answer any questions he's very direct and he is ready to stress any uh, at any opportunity his friendship with britain uh, his close links uh, with the, the british government and especially with tony blair i have to say whom he calls a dear friend who comes and stays with him tony blair was of course uh, one of his advisors uh, so he's you know very prompt to uh, stress this uh, friendship between uh, with the uk the journalist Nabila Ramdani, extremely interesting there to hear someone talking about Colonel Gaddafi as straightforward.